Hey coach, welcome back. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to get your clients to show up on time every single session. So I've seen a lot of complaining recently from a lot of coaches who are on our newsletter. They're reading our newsletter, but they can't seem to find clients who are showing up on time. And this is a problem because anytime you have clients who show up late, they're not gonna get the full benefit from your program and it makes you look very unprofessional especially if you're doing group training. So here's how I have the setup within my own business and I urge all of the mastermind members in our group to do the same thing and this works perfectly. So I wanna share this with you. So anytime in your onboarding process when you're talking to a parent and they're gonna be a, become a client, you want to let them know that you have a condition. If they're going to be working with you, they need to show up 15 minutes early. And here's why I want you to do that. If you know that they're gonna show up 15 minutes early, then Johnny, your, your player that you're training, he can get warmed up, he can do a, a light jog, he can stretch out before the session begins. I see so many trainers out there, they waste time during the session. They're doing 10 to 15 minute warm ups. they're doing hour sessions, but now they only have 45 minutes to train. And if someone shows up late, right, now you're cutting off even more time of the training because you're taking time during the session to warm them up, right? So this is going to help your business become very uniform, all right? So I'll give you a good example. Every Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I have my sessions. Every single kid shows up 15 minutes early. So I have sessions on the hour. So if I have sessions on the hour, that means every player is going to show up 15 minutes early. Their parents are bringing them, right? They're always gonna be on time. This way they're never late. And I know that's a problem a lot of coaches are having right now is they'll have clients show up late and then they feel like they still need to train them the full amount of time. You should not be running your business that way. So if you're running into this problem, take my advice. I hope you can install that, but you have to level up the communication with the parents. You gotta set the tone with the parents before they ever become clients. This way when they're clients, they're doing exactly as you instruct. Because if you allow clients to show up late, that's going to ruin your business. And that's going to ruin your day of training because now you're sitting there at the field or at the court or at the park waiting for clients to be there, right? And that's not a good feeling. I've been there before. I spent the first two to three years of my business running it that way. There was zero rules. It was too flexible for parents. There were zero commitments. That is not how you're gonna be able to run a successful business. So hopefully you can take that advice. If you have any questions for me about how I communicate that to the parents, um, about how I pre-qualify parents into my program, how I get players um, and clients to commit to my program for six to 12 months, I highly recommend you go to our website. We have some great resources there. So if you go to www.buildmysportsbiz.com, just check out the site. We have a mastermind for coaches where I'm helping coaches daily with their business. Uh, we also have a podcast. Once a week that podcast goes out and we have a free daily newsletter. All right, you guys heard me uh, a couple weeks ago. I talked about my daily newsletter. That is a great resource for you if you're just getting started. This way you can pick my brain. Every single day I'm sending out a great resource every single day in the morning. You can take advantage of that and I highly recommend you just go check out our site. You'll see everything there. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.